Lewis Collins was an English film and theatre actor. His career defining role was playing Bodhi in the late 1970s, early 1980s British television series The Professionals. Collins was born in Bidston, Birkenhead, on the Wirral Peninsula in Merseyside. At the age of two, he won the The Most Beautiful Baby in Liverpool contest. When he was 13 years of age, his father Bill, a jazz dance band leader, bought him a drum kit. His first gig was playing with his father's band, and he also joined a group of older school pupils to form a band called the Renegades at the start of the Merseybeat music scene in Liverpool in the late 1950s. His passion for firearms started in his youth from membership of the Liverpool Central Rifle Club. On leaving school, he took an apprentice hairdresser's position at the André Bernard Salon, alongside fellow apprentice Mike McCartney. In late 1964, Collins quit hairdressing to become the bass player with the Mojos, performing on their charting singles Goodbye Dolly Gray and Until My Baby Comes Home, and moved from Liverpool to London with them when the band appeared to have good commercial prospects. However the band failed to chart again and broke up, and finding himself in the midst of cosmopolitan London in 1966 during the swinging 60s, Collins made a living engaged in temping work such as delivery van driving, cleaning windows, and being a waiter, before deciding that he wanted to become an actor after hearing a play being performed on the radio. Having been accepted for training in acting by the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, which he attended between 1968 and 1971, he drew the notice of his fellow students for an electrifying performance in the lead role of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. While in Glasgow he also taught deaf and mute children mobility skills, learning British Sign Language so he could communicate with them, later saying that this was the most satisfying work that he had done in his life. In 1972 he appeared in seven plays in Glasgow including the lead in Marlowe's Tamburlaine the Great. He then went with Havergal on an acting teaching tour with the Prospect Theatre Company in the United States and Canada, before returning to the British Isles to appear in London's West End, starring in City Sugar and the Threepenny Opera, and at the Royal Court Theatre in the play The Farm in 1973, directed by Lindsay Anderson. After moving into film acting in the mid-1970s, he intermittently returned to the stage throughout his career. He performed in a pantomime of Babes in the Wood at the King's Theatre in South Sea in Christmas 1983. In the mid-1990s he performed in an English provincial tour of the play Who Killed Agatha Christie by Tudor Gates. His last performance in theatre was a 1999-2000 provincial tour in the English Midlands of J.B. Priestley's Dangerous Corner. Having cast the actor Martin Shaw, Clemens found in the first week of filming that the initial partnership he had arranged for the recording of the pilot episode with the actor Anthony Andrews lacked personal on-screen chemistry due to the similarity of the acting styles of Andrews and Shaw. He thought of Collins as an alternative after seeing a recently filmed episode of The New Avengers, in which Collins and Shaw had appeared alongside one another and there had been a noticeable dynamic tension between them both in their acting style and off-screen private personalities. Although not getting on particularly well with one another personally, the good-humoured antagonism and bravado between Collins and Shaw on-screen worked well and the series was highly successful on British television for the next six years, making household names of them both. In 1982 he auditioned for the role of 007 with Eon Productions, the highly successful James Bond global cinema franchise, to succeed an aging Roger Moore, but the audition with its producer Cubby Broccoli did not go well and he was rejected as being too aggressive. Collins regarded this failure in retrospect as the key missed opportunity of his acting career. In 1982 he broke into cinema starring in the role of a British army officer confronting terrorists in the commercially successful film Who Dares Wins. In 1986 he played the French medieval warlord Philip Mark in the series Robin of Sherwood. In 1988 he played second lead to Michael Caine in the highly successful British television film Jack the Ripper. In March 1997 Collins announced in an interview on British television that he was in discussions with a production company to star in a new series based on The Professionals, 
reprising his career signature role of William Bodie as the 101st Five Agencies Chief in the part played by Gordon Jackson in the original series. However, after months of negotiations it was announced by the producer David Wicks that Collins had been dropped as a casting option for the role for undisclosed reasons, and it had been given to the actor Edward Woodward instead. The new show, entitled CI5, The New Professionals, went on to be a commercial and critical failure, and was abandoned after one series. Collins' final acting performance was in an episode of the British television police drama series The Bill entitled 034 in 2002. In 2003 Collins left Britain and abandoned acting and drama, and saw out his last decade in private business in the United States selling computer equipment. In early 2012 his return to acting was announced by his theatrical agent issuing a statement that he had been cast to play the role of Earl Godwin in the historically based feature film production, but in June 2013 it was announced by the same source that he had withdrawn from the production due to ill health. After being first diagnosed in 2008, Collins died at the age of 67 from cancer in Los Angeles on 27 November 2013. Shortly before his death, he had returned to visit England, spending some time in Merseyside. Collins' body was cremated. An urn holding his ashes is deposited in a memorial display cabinet at the North Pacifica Mausoleum section of Green Hills Memorial Park in Rancho Palos Verde, California. Collins married Michelle Larratt, a schoolteacher, in 1992. The couple had three sons, Oliver, Elliot, and Cameron. He held a private pilot's license, a black belt in jiu-jitsu, and had trained in karate. His hobbies included parachuting, motorbikes, collecting firearms, and sports shooting and he continued to play musical instruments throughout his life.